Yeah. All right, a story that's far from over. Chip, thanks. A signing that will lead to mining. Governor Scott Walker signs that controversial mining bill into law today. Opponents say the bill will be bad for the environment. Supporters argue it will be good for the economy. Fox 6's Mike Lowe live at one Milwaukee business that will see immediate impact. Mike. Good evening, Ted. We are at PH where they make heavy equipment. They ship it all across the globe to virtually that you would find in the world. Executives here at PH, though, say with Wisconsin's new mining law, some of that business could be coming back home. Today, we got an inside look at the company. We uh, sell and service our mining equipment around the globe, various locations. Uh, any large mine in the world you can go and see PH mining equipment there. As sparks fly, there is genuine excitement at PH mining. The company employs 750 people in Milwaukee, engineers, welders, and machinists like John Soden. Oh, this is a career. He's been on the job for 37 of his 55 years. Sorry, when I was 17. While he hopes the company expands, he says the mining bill's impact may ultimately be on the people already employed. Well, right now we're starting to slow down a little bit, so hopefully it'll keep our jobs here. The parts manufactured here, gears and pinions to make drills and industrial shovels, are shipped from Milwaukee across the globe. This will all be one machine here. Jeff Roshak is an engineer. He says the mining bill addresses one of his company's key concerns. The biggest thing I see is that the uh, lack of domestic customers is one of our concerns. The bill clears the way for an open pit iron ore mine 400 miles north of Milwaukee. Governor Walker signed it in the North Woods Monday. For us, it's simple. We want to streamline the process for safe and environmentally sound mining. The law is controversial. Shame! With opponents saying it recklessly relaxes environmental restrictions. We have a political bill that will not result in any jobs that will be tied up in litigation for possibly years to come. But PH says the mine will have an instant economic impact. The difference between us having to ship a, a product around the globe and having to ship a product, you know, 400, 500 miles away from here is a big difference. There are thousands of families in Milwaukee supported by the mining industry, and Roshak says he sees the people not the politics. Lots of pride when you when you see it done here. Um, then when you see it around the globe, it makes a big difference. And Governor Walker is scheduled to hold a ceremonial signing of this law. He already signed it into law officially earlier today in the North Woods. He's scheduled to sign a ceremonial copy here at PH within the next half hour. Reporting live tonight in Milwaukee, Mike Lowe. Fox 6 News. Is it a bittersweet day there? Because the guys at PH are smart. They know this thing could also be tied up in the courts. That's got to affect their business. Indeed. Uh, I think most people are aware that there are going to be lawsuits. Indeed, the Bad River tribe of Indians up, uh, up at the Bad River watershed near Ashland, where this mine would be uh, built, uh, they've already started uh, a fundraising drive to basically uh, mount this legal battle that they say they're going to mount. So we know there are going to be lawsuits filed. And so, yes, it is some, uh, there is some sense of, of bittersweetness here at PH today. But there is tempered excitement, I would say, given that the law is actually being signed today. And this was a year-long process of debate through the legislature and in the public uh, to get this thing done. So there is, I, I would call it, excitement here today, Tim. Mike Lowe, thanks. The man acquitted of starting Milwaukee's Pizza Man restaurant on fire will still serve prison time and can